Albanese leads Labour to Australia election win. It's nearly 3 a.m. in Sydney, where a few hours ago Australia's new Prime Minister Anthony Albanese gave a victory speech to thousands of cheering supporters. I want to bring Australia together. I want to seek our common purpose and promote unity, and not fear or division, said the 59-year-old veteran politician who has led Labour back to power after nearly a decade. Here's a recap of the day's biggest takeaways. Labour has so far won 72 seats, according to projections, just four short of the halfway mark required to form a majority government in the 151-seat lower house. So it's quite likely they will have to join up with independents or other minor parties to get over the line. Ousted Prime Minister Scott Morrison said he was quitting as leader of the Liberals, and that he was looking ahead to the next election. Albanese's win is widely seen as a vote for change given the criticisms and controversies Morrison has faced recently, from his handling of the pandemic and inaction over climate change to his aggressive leadership style, which his own party colleagues described as bullying. The other big story of the night is the Teal Independents, political outsiders who are projected to win at least eight seats, some of which were thought to be safe liberal ones. Their strong performance is both the reflection of the dissatisfaction with the two major parties, 